Hi. This week's topic is the health effect of lipids. Now, there's a lot to say and discuss about this topic, so it's going to be a pretty busy week. Now, dietary lipids have mainly been connected to heart disease, which is also referred to as cardiovascular disease. So it's important that we take a close look at heart disease. What is it, and how does it develop? And what are the major risk factors for heart disease? You will also learn about atherosclerosis, the process that is most often at the basis of heart disease. Now, you probably know that one of the risk factors for heart disease is the cholesterol level in your blood. Now, by watching videos, reading text, and answering the multiple choice questions, you will learn that cholesterol exists in your blood in two forms, LDL and HDL, and that you need to be especially concerned about your LDL cholesterol level. And that's because having a high LDL cholesterol greatly increases your risk of heart disease. Now, what's interesting about LDL is that its levels can be changed by altering your diet. What is the impact of the amount of cholesterol in your diet on your blood cholesterol level? And what about consumption of saturated and unsaturated fat? Now, some people are promoting the idea that saturated fat isn't bad after all. Now, how should we look at that? Now, we'll also look at trans fat. Trans fats have also been called killer fats, and they used to be abundant in frying oil, pastries, fast foods, certain margarines, and many other processed foods. And you'll watch an interview with Dr. Martijn Katon, the expert in the field, who first showed the cholesterol-raising effect of trans fat. And he shared with us his views on a number of issues. Trans fat, but also on the current debate about saturated fat and his views about the role of the food industry in nutrition and health. Now, another hot topic are the omega-3 fatty acids. Numerous claims have been made about these type of fatty acids, particularly in relation to heart disease. Now, you'll read text and watch an interview that I had with Dr. Dan Kromhout, an expert on omega-3s and professor at our university here in Wageningen and you will learn the latest scientific insights about these fatty acids. Now, finally, we'll also cover the specific recommendations for dietary fat intake. So together, this week we'll teach you a lot about how dietary fatty acids and how dietary lipids may influence health and disease, particularly heart disease. And you'll be tested at the end by a section exam. Now have fun!